Flav City family, what is up? It is Bobby coming at you here in the parking lot of Whole Foods in South Florida. Uh, Desi and Rose just went in ahead of me, and I thought it'd be fun if I do a little grocery haul of what I buy for my family at Whole Foods during the week. You guys know I love the grocery store. I go to a Whole Foods, Costco, Aldi, Trader Joe's, four to seven days a week. I love the grocery store, so I thought it'd be fun to show you what I buy for myself and for the family. Uh, so let's get in there and do our thing. Before we do, like, subscribe, share, spread that Flav City love, but I also want you to check out thrivemarket.com using my promo link down below. Uh, Thrive is a six-year supporter of the channel, and I love Thrive Market just like I love every other grocery store, but Thrive has pretty much everything you find at most stores, but for cheaper. You save about $32 per order, and the box comes to your door and right now thrive is hooking up flave city fans and they're loving it when you click my link down below you get 25 percent off your first order a free gift up to 40 dollars. one of those gifts is a bottle of primal kitchen avocado oil and ranch and it's 30 days risk-free if you don't love thrive market you can cancel and get your membership feedback but at least try them out using my link down below okay less talking more shopping let's go meet up with desi and rose oh rose knows where i'm going right here rosie knows I'm going to show something I really like. Rose, look what they have. Those. Those are my favorite keto peanut butter cups ever. These are unbelievable. You want something that tastes like a Reese's peanut butter cup, but it's clean? What's that? <laughs> Rosie. Rosie wants one too. I'll give you one in a second, Rose. These are fantastic. They're called keto cups. I have them after lunch on the regular. Look at these ingredients. Unbelievable. I've never seen anything so clean. And there's two net carbs per keto cup. A little expensive. I wait until it's on sale. They're fantastic. Oh, Rose, I love these too. I also have the huge chocolate. And these are not keto. These are paleo. Uh, these hunks are absolutely fantastic. Rose wants a little snack. So let's do... Mmm. <laughs> Unbelievable. Here, Rose. That was going for you. So darn good. Mmm. Oh. Oh, man. Let's go get a napkin and clean that up. We'll be back. Okay, if you love coconut water, there's a new player in the game and it's really, really cheaper than the one that I love. It's right here. So Harmless Harvest is great, right? But it's expensive. And Rose is pointing to the cheaper one. In case you didn't know, Whole Foods now has their own version of Thai coconut water. It's pink. Just, here you go, sweetie. Just, oh, sorry. <clears throat> Hey, how's it going? Okay. <laughs> you have changed my life. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. It's mostly to my wife. But... It's usually how it works. Please, awesome. Thank you so much. No, yeah, you. tell your wife I said thank you also. <laughs> it's the same exact coconut water. What's that? I'll oh, hold that. There you go. There was once the smaller bottle. The same exact coconut water as the Harmless. Harmless is 10. This one is $8.79, way cheaper, and sometimes it's on sale. Um, I've heard that Harmless is no longer at uh, Whole Foods, at uh, Costco. I haven't seen it either. Has anyone seen it at their Costco? Uh, it's still a better price at Costco than the Whole Foods one, but still, this is a great deal. And remember, the um, coconut water has natural electrolytes in it. Like I offered her the uh, big one, she took the smaller one. Yeah, big one for mommy. Here's a drink that I love. I don't really drink kombucha, but GT is a really cool company. They make a fantastic um, coconut living yogurt too that was on sale the other week. They make mushroom root beer. I used to crush root beer back in the old days like a mouse. This has crazy, crazy ingredients. It's got mushrooms, adaptogenic or adaptogen mushrooms. Look at that. Chaga, turkey tail. How do they sweeten it? With amber, maple syrup, apple cider vinegar and root beer spices uh, nothing like a natural flavor they're just spices like maybe marshmallow root and clove and stuff like that one bottle has 16 grams of uh, natural sugar have you tried this one babe not try it it's it? it's root beer made with maple syrup and it has uh, mushrooms in there too you want to try it too rose let's see place your bets now will rose like it she likes acidic flavors like apple cider vinegar so i'm gonna say yes It's got bubbles. 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 No. no, oh, it's the head is not rose approved. <laughs> it's good. Isn't that nice? It's nice. Yeah, very, very interesting. I think the apple cider vinegar adds a nice kind of twang. It's nice. It's not too sweet. Oh. Coming back for a second. Oh, yeah, it's like 
Oh, she's drooling down there. <laughs> bubbles. It's got bubbles. It bites your tongue. The bubbles bite your tongue. Yeah, Rosie. Hey, Rose, let's show everyone our favorite cream cheese. You know where it is over there, right? Let's go. Take us to the cream cheese. Yeah. Rosie, get Daddy the, uh, the orange one, the orange cream cheese. Oh, one more over to the left. This one's just okay. The orange one, right to the left. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one, Rosie. Okay, if you're dairy free and you want cream cheese that tastes like real cream cheese, Kite Hill, any of the Kite Hill cream cheeses are great. Ah, uh, veggie, everything, chive, original. But the garden veggies, how good is this, babe? Unbelievable. The ingredients are next level. There's no bad ingredients at all. Unfortunately, these new spreads either have uh, natural flavors or sugar. This is great. Let me put it on the keto bread. That'll show you around the corner. You left your cart. Come on, let's go get your cart, your shopping cart. Right here. Ah, uh, right here. I like to get it when it's on sale, and actually, we'll have a promo code, I think, in a week or so on Instagram. These guys, Florida-based company, it's keto, gluten-free, paleo. This is the no cheese cheese bread, and this is their um, cinnamon raisin bread. Oh. Two unbelievable breads, and this, this so you wanna get that? Yeah. This is paleo pumpkin bread. Rose had it for the first time yesterday and loved it. Yeah. Uh, we'll get that. It's actually these guys right here, there. Clearwater, Florida. Good job, Jordan. You're crushing it. Yeah, that's the dodo, our favorite Rosie. Oh, look at Rose. Rose is reaching for her favorite. Is that dodo, Rose? Dodo. Uh, this is an amazing keto treat. Just like I talked about the um, keto bites, the keto cups earlier, this is Keto Cookie Dough by Boo. This sale price is unbelievable. I had a promo code on Instagram the other day, and it wasn't that cheap. Either one of these is great. I would go with the peanut butter one. You guys. Rose, hold on, wait, we have that at home, Rose. If you wait a minute, I'll buy it for you too. The ingredients in this are crazy. I've never seen ingredients this clean. The first one is red palm oil. You'll be like, palm oil? Bobby said that's bad. It's red palm oil. Red palm oil is like the coconut, extra virgin coconut oil of palm oil. It's really good. Rose, I'll open that for you in one second. One, one second, my sweetie. So it's red palm oil, which is expensive and good followed by insane ingredients, sweetened with pure monk fruit, not monk fruit sweetener, real vanilla. My friends, this tastes like a real cookie dough, but it has two net carbs and it's keto diabetic friendly. I would get this for sure. Dodo is good, Rose. I will get it for you and open it right now. Open. Just to let you know, there is a new player in the butter game. It's a little too rich for my blood, but this is one of the only 100% grass-fed butters I know. It's too expensive though. It's two sticks for $6. I'd rather go to uh, Costco and get the new Kirkland 95% uh, grass-fed butter for way cheaper than that. It is nice to see 100% grass-fed. That's very, very expensive. We'll be back. Where are you guys going? To the store. Home, store. Home goods? Home okay. All right, bye, Rose. I'll see you soon. <laughs> but no luck. Thank you, Rose. Side by side, these are two of the best cookies in the game. Um, any of the newish grain-free cookies from Siete are fantastic. The Mexican wet wedding cookie does have a touch of cane sugar uh, coating on the outside, but it literally is a touch and it's mixed in with um, coconut sugar. It's just about one, one and a half grams per cookie. The other ones have no refined sugar at all and taste amazing. And on sale is one of the other best-in-class cookies, Chicago-based Simple Mills here. Oh, uh, no, I want the crunchy one, where, this one. You don't want the soft-baked one, you want the crunchy one, because it's very rare to see ingredients like this. Look at the um, flour blend. Almonds, coconut, flax seeds. Look at the oil, coconut oil. Look at the sugar, coconut sugar. Amazing. The reason why I said no on the soft-bake is for some reason with the soft-bake, they use, boom, palm shortening. So that's a no-no. This is unbelievable, and that sale price is quite nice when you're an Amazon Prime member. If you live in the South, I'm not sure exactly what uh, states in the South, you are privileged to this. Pasture-raised pork from Thompson Farms. They have bacon, 100% non-GMO, rotationally farmed pork bacon. Amazingly seasoned pork breakfast sausages. I'm gonna get some of those for tomorrow. 
and pasture-raised bone-in butt or pork shoulder. Amazing prices. So Thompson Farms right here is from Georgia. Please ask your local Whole Foods if they have this Thompson uh, Farms uh, pasture-raised pork, get it. I went on their website, I emailed them. It's rotationally farmed, meaning every few weeks they move the uh, pigs from a different paddock to a paddock so they don't overgraze the grass, and it's non-GMO uh, supplemental feed. This price for even bacon, sausage, or butt roast is amazing. You can go online to a place like White Oaks Pasture, a famous one in Georgia, and pay two to three times the price. I see pasture-raised bacon for $12, $13, $14, $15 dollars online. This is amazing. Check if you have it at your uh, Whole Foods. I believe it's only in the South, maybe the Southeast. This stuff is amazing. What have I been saying recently? These coconut rolls are the latest, greatest thing in the snack world. I haven't seen this co company before, Sun Tropics Coconut Rolls, but I've seen them at Sprouts, Dollar Tree, uh, Sam's, Costco, but this could be the best one. It's $2.99 for a four ounce bag, so a little more expensive than the other ones, but this is the only one I found that doesn't use cane sugar. It's 100% coconut sugar. It's six grams of added per 10 pieces. These are so crispy and so lovely. You only need, to be honest, five of these. And then it has, what, three grams, which is less than one teaspoon of paleo coconut sugar. This is amazing. And wait, I stand corrected. I haven't been to Sam's and seen it yet, but at Sam's, they have another version of these that is only sweetened with coconut sugar too. If you see those at your Sam's, grab them, along with some Sam's have this keto blend by Nutiva. It's a cooking oil with avocado oil and coconut oil. It's amazing. That and this are fantastic. These ingredients are legit. A little more expensive, right? But fantastic. These I'm guessing are a no-go because the salted caramel have natural flavors. Nope. Stick with the OGs. All right, Flav City family, that is it. Uh, I have to go catch up with the girls at Home Goods, but that is it for a family run to Whole Foods. You guys know I mix it up. I come to Whole Foods, Aldi, Costco, uh, uh, Thrive Market. But if you know how to shop Whole Foods, especially when things are on sale, which lately they've been having some gangbuster sales, you can get really good deals on Bobby approved stuff. Uh, but that is it. If you have any other ideas for uh, videos, leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, share, spread that Flav City love. But me, Desi, and Rose will see you soon. Until then, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. Later.